had the other day. Chucked it out well to win. Now they're ready. They're racing. Callanish jumps away, one of the best actually down near the inside. Count the Diamonds and Pep and Hopes began fast and also uh, in the early stages No Hopes is up there and above is showing some speed as well as they settle down. Callanish about fourth or fifth on the rail so it is Count the Diamonds who has the lead above is sitting a length away second. Two lengths Callanish who's got up on the fence with No Hopes a half a length away in fourth. One of Luther's secret stealth wanting to over race on the rails in the white cap. One to Kukri, Pep and Hoax. Uh, they're being followed then by BDK over on the outside in the greenish colours. Then came Verdant being followed by Italian Machine down on the rail from Ruse de Gersh and Ballymore and Arts Fire. About to come off the back and count the diamonds being now pressured by Pep and Hoax on the outside. And these two lead by two. In third placing is above, and on the rails fourth is the hot favourite, Callanish. He's being followed, one of Luther, no hoax, and then came Secret Stealth, BDK next to the outside. Ruse de Guerre deeper, Kukri closer to the inside in some traffic now from Italian Machine, and then Verdant towards the end with Shan Valley Moore and Arch Fire. So count the diamonds, leads Pep and Hoax. The gap just appears at the right moment for Callanish, and he travels beautifully into the race. Below the 400, Count the Diamonds a length. Callanish now comes on strongly, followed by No Hoax. Luther starting to unwind a fair run, uh, and the rest were headed by Kukri, but Callanish goes to the lead, 150 out, drew a length in front. No Hoax and Luther are boxing on well from BDK, but Callanish under the whip, too good, and will win it again. Callanish makes it five out of five, but Luther. No Hoax and a photo for third on the inside with Shan Billy Moore, an eye catcher, and BDK. Kirkry finished off and so did Verdant, not a bad run at all. Behind them was above who dropped out and so did Count the Diamonds and Ruse de Guerre, being followed by Archfire, Pippin Hoax, well back in the field, and Secret Stealth and Italian Machine bring up the rear. Big bets landed here, big bets landed here. 290 to 210, would you believe it? 290 to 210, 220 is your take or what? What about when the gap open top of the straight Pippin Hoax? You thought, well, this is a bit too easy. He's done a good job uh, winning. That's five in a row. He, looking like he can probably step out even further. So also, there's no acceleration there today. And again, he, he appears to wait for horses. And Luther gets into second to give Mertens the jockey's challenge today at $7. Two good stars runs here. Sean Valley Moore and Verdant. Both excellent from the future. But Kalanish is the horse of the moment. Big, big go. Lands the prize. Five out of five. And uh, sweet to watch. Well, he's, he's been very well placed, and he's just one of those bomb-proof horses. Um, he just looks like he enjoys it, doesn't he? he as you said, it's no real ping there, but you knew he was going to pick up Count the Diamonds, and then he just puts his head out, and away he goes to the line. I suppose his next test will be to go to a Saturday meeting and just see whether he can lift, lift the bar, but he can't do any more than he's done so far. And, uh -huh. Quaddy's giving you $175. Dale Smith, you watched it. His arms must get longer while than that horse. He's, he just, he, he watched it over the back. He, he's got long arms on him. Yeah, now, he, uh, they, bet, they bet about 320 about him this morning, and uh, he's been 290 top into 210 here on track, so he's, uh, he's cleaned up. He was never going to get beaten. The loose has tried really hard. He's racing well. Uh, Sean Bally, more the mayor, fabulous from the back. But. Uh, he gets the prize. He, he wasn't super impressive, but it was a pretty painless watch for the punters who were quite happy to tune in. 290 into 210. Now it's 2, 14, 6 and 16. 2, 14, 6 and 16. And uh, Mick Price has just placed this horse beautifully, Bruce. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, Mick, you probably got to raise the bar again now. That's a Saturday. He looks like he just wants to keep going one pace and keep going. Well, dead track. Mile first time, 59 kilos. And uh, he was strong, wasn't he? I mean... He's uh, be nice to think he gets 2,000 metres, but I think it'll come with racing. Um, but look, our race worked out perfect for us, um, as it sometimes does. But uh, look, he's just a really nice horse, isn't he? I mean, he's going to probably go to 86, 87 rater and uh, puts him in open handicaps now. So I think it's, um, I think he'll train on. You know, he's going well. So a bit of black type maybe. It's great for all the owners, isn't it? Because they've had to endure a lot with this horse. As all owners do, Bruce. But uh, you know, they've been bashed around every now and again. But uh, look, great bunch of owners in it, and uh, I just can't thank uh, you know everyone that's helped the horse do what he's done. I mean, we all should be on the one side. You know what I mean? So uh, no, it's been great. Easy to enjoy when the horse has got ability. Some of us got to enjoy when they've got none. Exactly. The stuff you don't see. <laughs> Good on you, Mick. Well done. Thanks, mate. Just going to check the length of uh, Dale Smith's arms there. Boy, gee, it seems to give you a good pull over the back there uh, when, you're, when you're riding him. Yeah, he um, 
today he relaxed good and I thought, well, this is going to work out well. And then sort of when the speed sort of backed off a fraction, he wanted to get the job on, on done with. Um, it just had to, sort of took me a fell to get him back again. And once we sort of got to the top of the hill and come down, and he really relaxed good and came into the race well. Couldn't have been better for you as a jockey to see. Oh, there's a gap up here, top of the straight. I'm going to go around anything here of note. Well, if I really needed to, he's a big horse, so I had Pippin Oaks outside later, so I sort of had the uh, reassurance that I'd be able to move whatever was ever outside me. When he got the run, he really put him away. Put him away. He just keeps building momentum, but he doesn't have acceleration. Is, there, is that a fair call? Yeah, look, when, you, when he initially goes...